you know, the series ended and five years later we came back and we did a movie because that was kind of always the plan. It was, wouldn't it be great to, after we finished doing the TV show, come back and do a movie a few years later? And so we did that and it was great, but the response, again, to the movie was much bigger than any of us kind of anticipated. It was selling out theaters and Cineplex got a hold of the network and asked if they could have it in the theaters for another week because it was just the response was huge. So the network got a hold of us and said, you know, the appetite is still there for Corner Gas, would you like to do more? But we kind of didn't want to do any more live Corner Gases. It just felt like there was no, we'd be spinning our wheels. If we weren't going to do something, you know, noticeably different, why bother? But we talked, you know, you like to be employed. So we said, well, is there a way we can, what could we do? Years ago, we had talked about, kind of half jokingly, what if we did a uh, animated um, special. So we got to see the characters animated. But we didn't do anything with it, it was just kind of an idea. So we revisited that idea, kind of liked the idea, doing an adult primetime animated corner gas. We talked to the network, they were intrigued, so we went into development. We, I said, let's do a demo, because they didn't want us to do it, you know, I want to know if it would work. I didn't know if it would work or not. So we did a three minute demo. I wrote a couple of scripts. Everybody liked it. Uh, it, seems to, it seems to be a natural. One of the guys who wrote on Corner Gas wrote on King of the Hill. Uh, Norm Hiscock is his name. And I said to him, because he has this animation background, how would our scripts translate? He said it would be, this is the perfect show to animate. He said, just write more Corner Gas scripts the way you did it. Um, and, but you have a little bit of room to, to do things a little bigger when we would do our fantasy sequences. We were always you know, limited to what we could do, really, in the real world. The laws of uh, physics, the laws of man. Was it werewolf versus robot? Or yeah, something? so it was like you, you're kind of limited. But if you're drawing it, you have a little bit more, uh, you know, there still are limitations. How much drawing you can do. But you're, you have a little bit more freedom. We were so blessed to find these actors and the chemistry that they brought and the skill level that they brought to bring these characters to life. I wouldn't even have considered doing this without those people. They're really, those actors are what made these characters come to life and what made people relate to these characters. You know, the gags that we wrote were funny and stuff, but if, if you don't believe that these are real people and if you don't, if you don't buy into them and connect to them, it's all just words on paper, it doesn't matter. And when we found these people to play these iconic roles, the, these archetypal characters, and they made them so believable, it's just, that's the kind of magic you stumble across once in your lifetime. And so, yeah, it, it had to be done with them. And so all the original actors are back, with the exception of Janet, who passed away recently. Um, all the other actors are back, backing them. You can do it by you know just individually phoning it in, but we, like again, it goes back to that chemistry. These actors reacting off each other is magic. And so we're kind of spread out between Vancouver and Toronto. So the, the actors that are in Vancouver get into a studio together, and the actors that are in Toronto get into a studio together, and then we're linked up via phone so we can hear each other. Um, and so we're acting it out live with each other, and uh, it makes all the difference. I mean, it really changed from pre-Corner Gas to where I got recognized, you know, once a month or something to, to where I was getting recognized multiple times throughout the day because it, it, it was just a bigger show than any of us anticipated it being. But it's a good thing. It elevated my profile, allows me to play, you know, nice big theaters and, and draw good-sized crowds and stuff. So it's all, the upside is, is all there. It's a little strange because uh, it's just strange to be... If you're somewhere, you're in an airport or something, or you're in a store, and um, you you don't know any of them, but they all they all know you. It's just a, it's just a strange dynamic. But I don't you know I don't mind it. It's not bad. It's just it's just odd. You get to bypass lineups sometimes. I like that. Not that I'm a big uh, club guy, but you know, at the start of Corner Gas, I you know I was going out. Uh, having drinks with friends and stuff, and sometimes we could bypass a lineup. I recommend that to anybody. If you ever get into a situation where they say, no, just bypass the line, come over here to the, that's terrific. I recommend that to anybody.